morning friends welcome back to my kitchen i am glad to share another recipe with you our recipe today is going to be potato skillet and before i share that recipe i desire to share something with you from the word of god um from the book of second corinthians chapter 8 verse 11 um, to 12 I'll read the Bible says now therefore perform the doing of it that as there was a readiness to will so there may be a performance also out of that which ye have for if there be first a willing mind it is accepted according to that a man has and not according to that he has not basically what i am getting from this text is that even as we continue to learn concerning a um, good cookery healthful cookery plant-based meals do the best you can with what you got and with a willing mind remember our desire is to honor god to glorify him in whatever you do and in every situation you find yourself in or in every situation you're facing it is not how well you perform not how much you do not how good it is but your faithfulness to do the best you can with what you got with a willing mind my prayer for us this day even as we endeavor to learn how to cook simple plant-based recipes is that so long as you have a willing mind practice what you've got it will be counted worthy for what you have rather than what you don't have do diligence with what you have and god will multiply yes have a blessed day. So to our ingredients, you're going to have... We're going to weigh our ingredients. We will need 670 grams of potatoes. You can use pumpkin. You can use sweet potatoes instead. Potatoes are very rich in vitamin C. And they're very rich in potassium as well, which is good for the heart. We have spinach. You can use lettuce. You can use kales. Any greens just to give color. We have one medium zucchini or courgette one medium carrot one medium onion the red onion one large green bell pepper you can have the red and the yellow one as well we have three medium tomatoes a clove of garlic a bunch of coriander into our seasonings we have himalayan salt we have ginger powder we have turmeric and later we are going to add cooked beans you can use tofu instead so right now we want to clean our vegetables dice the ones that need to be diced and chop and here we go we have chopped the onions tomatoes Costly chop your spinach and in a large pot put two tablespoons of oil. I'm using coconut oil. You can use any oil that you prefer. Add your potatoes and your onions and garlic which you have chopped into small pieces and stir. Add salt to increase the melting point so they are going to boil a bit fast. Add two cups of water and stir. Then 
then you're going to cover and allow it to cook on medium heat for five minutes I'm using little water to ensure the potatoes remain firm and not mashed Once your potatoes are cooked, it's time to add our vegetables. So we are going to add our chopped green bell pepper and our zucchini. We'll add carrots. If you had the yellow and the red bell pepper, you can also add as well. If you have eggplants, you can also put them here in this stage. Next, I'm going to add a quarter cup of cooked beans. This will act as our protein. You can use tofu. You can use garbanzo beans, tomatoes. And you're going to stir. We'll allow the vegetables to cook slightly and not become mashed so right now we are adding our spinach which are coarsely chopped and we'll cover and allow it to cook for two minutes it shrinks quite fast so it does not need a lot of time to cook spinach is rich in vitamin C and D and K which will strengthen your bones together with the potassium and magnesium present also it has vitamin a which repels bacteria and viruses and the potassium and the vitamin c pre prevent wrinkles and keep your cardiovascular system in good health our spinach is cooked we are going to stir to ensure even mixture with the rest of the ingredients at this point, you're going to add our seasoning so that they may be incorporated well into the vegetables. Ginger and turmeric are very powerful anti-inflammatories. Stir in the seasonings. And your food will be ready to serve. So the last thing to be added is coriander, which does not need cooking. You can add it on top and this is how it is looking. One thing with color, it improves appetite. When one sees food that has different colors, it gladdens, it increases the production of serotonin, which helps you keep in a good mood and have appetite. Here is our food, it's ready. We have added avocado and flax seeds which have omega-3 and 6 fatty acids good for your health. Remember to eat and drink to the glory of God. Bye. See you.